What do I do if I wake up at 3 a.m. and I can't go back to sleep? The first one turns out to be which bed should I buy? And we'll talk about that at some point in time as well. But what happens when you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't return to sleep? So first of all, it's your biology. Every single person wakes up in the middle of the night, but most people, like 95%, fall back asleep immediately. The reason is our core body temperature has begun to rise. So in the middle, in the beginning of the night, our core body temperature rises up into a point, and then at 10.30 it hits a peak and then drops. That's a signal for our brain to go to sleep. It stays dropping and cooler, which is one of the reasons why we like a cool environment. Um, and then at some point, it's got to go back up, otherwise we're going to turn into a popsicle. So as it's turning back up, guess what time it usually happens? Somewhere between 1 and 3 in the morning, which is generally speaking when most people wake up. So we know this is probably a temperature effect. The problem is going back to sleep. How do we go back to sleep? Well, there's three things that we want to learn about here. Number one is how do we go back to sleep? First things first, do yourself a favor. If you don't, if you can help it, don't look at the clock. I know this is going to be one of the hardest things you could possibly do because everybody looks at the clock. Then you instantly do the mental math and you say, oh crap, it's 3.30 in the morning. I got to get up at 6. Sleep, sleep, sleep. And you try to think your way to sleep. I gotta be honest with you, in the history of time, I'm pretty sure no one has ever thought their way to sleep. So elevating that level of anxiety and trying to force yourself to do something is never going to work. Two different things that you can do here that can be incredibly helpful. Number one, four, seven, eight breathing. We wanna get your heart rate back down below 60 in order to enter into a state of unconsciousness. Remember, this is a breathe in slowly for a count of four, hold for a count of seven, breathe out for a count of eight. Five to seven cycles of something like that will slow your heart rate down and make it much easier for you to fall back asleep. The other big thing to understand is even if you don't fall back asleep, you're still getting some level of rejuvenation. There's this thing out there that people are researching now called non-sleep deep rest, which is lying in your bed, dark room, eyes closed, no noise, but you're not asleep. Turns out it's rejuvenative. It's not the same as sleep. About an hour of that is probably worth about 15 or 20 minutes of sleep. So let's say you wake up at 3.30 in the morning and you're supposed to get out of bed at 6.30, but you can't fall back asleep. If you lie there for three hours just relaxing, you're gonna get almost an hour's worth of rejuvenation. So understanding how those two things work really helps lower that level of anxiety and usually help people get right back to sleep.